Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and as well a Aquarius Rising. Weekly Tarot reading, November 18th to November 24th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a couple of uh, seconds, guys, to shuffle the Tarot cards. And uh, we are to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week Aquarius, this is going to be the Devil card, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week. We do have the Page of Pentacles, afterwards is going to be the positive aspects of uh, the week which is uh, to be the Queen of Swords. And then the last one, uh, it regards to the Guidance which is the Strength card, uh, quite interesting. So, um, we have uh, the devil, which is uh, the topic of your week, and that thing is going to be catalyzed here with the temperance. So, uh, these are a passive neutrals, and it looks like that, that is a week where you have to simply cut the crap, okay? So it looks like that you have been way too milder up until this moment. What I mean is that you have allowed many things to play around that they should not play around. You allow many people, let's say, to get away with something that they shouldn't get away with anything. And uh, this week, it looks like that you are going to sever such kind of behavior of yourself. And this time around, you are going to incorporate all of the power and influence you have in order to set the thing straight. So what I mean here, it is that um, <clears throat> you're going to grasp upon a, uh, how can I say it? You're going to um, grasp upon the privileges that are given to you and in generally the like I said the power given to you so you can um, not perform but manifest let's say these uh, faithful events faithful circumstances if you will so uh, so in other words with those faithful events and faithful circumstances your queries can give direction to your uh, career or to your relationship, it doesn't really matter. Well, <clears throat> what kind of things is the, the the thing that you need to focus on here with this reading? It is that you can have the things the way you want to have them, and up until this moment, you didn't have them the way you want to have them. Is because you have allowed other people to have them the way they wanted to have them, and that will be no more throughout these weeks. The devil gives you wings, guys gives you power and with that power you can achieve great things so um uh, this is the thing here with the devil while the devil gives you the means necessary to get what you want and to feed the the hunger of your soul uh, it's very easy one to get intoxicated by this power and to abuse that power so whatever you do okay while you can exert influence while you can exert a, a a confidence as well and power into something you should not abuse it okay but always keep it to a such a proportions 
that you use it creatively rather than destructively. So um, at the final note here with the topic, it is time to become drastic, but just enough drastic. You, you don't, don't overkill it. Because otherwise, afterwards, the damage inflicted upon your life, upon your career, or upon your relationship may not be repairable uh, at all. So the other, the other card here that we have it regards to the challenges, and that will be the Page of uh, Pentacles, which uh, it is catalyzed by the Tree of uh, Cups. So that is a person from your surrounding. And up until this moment, it does look like that this person played you as a puppet. What I mean is that this person have a, a devotion, all right? They do have a, a, a thing they want to chase and they used your means, they used your power to chase what they wanted and that way depriving you from resources, the means, you know, and in generally from what it is needed for you to chase your goal, all right, to chase your hunger. And so the challenge here is going to be separating the vision that you do have for that person, Page of Pentacles. They are going to really play the victim here. It is just how it looks like, okay? They will try to, to touch you emotionally, to feel pity for them, to feel remorse that um, you are actually making something bad, making something wrong by depriving them from their so-called success. But it is not their success because this success is going to be achieved with your means, okay? And you have to use um, your means to achieve your own success. Now, the thing is that the page is very emotionally um, connected, okay? to you and to everything that is going on um, around you as well. And this sudden change of uh, behavior of your behalf saying enough is enough, you know, I ain't gonna help you anymore uh, because now I have things to do on my own or I don't like where you're going so I will do something else um, instead. You know, uh, that, that emotional attach uh, attachment is gonna make it even more harder Mm, for for you to um, that that emotional attachment is will make it more harder for you to detach from the um, uh, from the page of uh, from the page of pentacles. So um, the other card here, which is uh, the positive aspect for your week. Uh, just one second, guys. Yeah, to do my camera because my camera um, kind of like. My, my watch stopped showing my camera and I really can't work like that. Someone is bombarding me. Anyway, so um, Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords here, uh, as appears as a, a positive aspect, is going to be catalyzed. Wow, look at that, by, uh, with uh, the Four of uh, Wands. So uh, that is a, another person and this person is encouraging you to do whatever it takes to reach that, say, uh, that, uh, that, that ending of development, that thing of development of yours, okay? Either relationship-wise or either career-wise. Now, the thing is that the Queen of Swords is someone who can very well judge uh, from past experiences. And under past experiences, I mean past failure. So what I am trying to say here is that the Queen very well know that this Page of Pentacles is going to be just dead weight. And, and not only dead weight, but also a, a waste of time, waste of resources, you know, and in, in generally waste of everything. And so what happens here, it is that the queen is going to encourage you to push the, your things through, whatever it's going to cost you, let's say, emotionally, all right? That is that you have to be very sharp and keen with your mind. Don't allow your emotions to get the better of you and uh, based on it, you know, to deprive yourself from a certain progress. And as we can see here, this is going to be a big progress because once again, the devil gives you what your soul, soul craves for. You crave for money, well, money, it is what you can chase. You crave for love, well, love, it is what you can chase, all right? But not having this page of pentacles around. And now that I think of as an example, let's say that could be a, a, a person who 
is in love with you, but you are not in love with them and they are just devouring all of your life. It's kind of like they're everywhere you go and uh, they want your attention, they want your time, um, <clears throat> they're constantly calling you here and there and you just need to put that thing to an end. You have to force these fateful circumstances, like said, to show the page that this can go no further. And this Queen of Swords is going to help you either through counseling, you know, either through uh, showing you how the things are done. But it is very emancipated, a person, a, a very in tune uh, with the um, uh, with the reality kind of uh, kind of a person who can um, say the things with their true nature. I mean, it says the truth straight in your face and you simply can't ignore it in a way that uh, you cannot uh, ignore it. And the last one, it regards to the guidance, which is the strength card, and it is accompanied with the page of uh, wands. So we do have an, an active supporters in this particular position. And these two cards are saying us that, um, or saying to you, Aquarius, it is that um, basically, oh, well, it's very difficult to divulge it here, the translation of those couple of cards. Well, uh, as a guidance, they point to that no one can tell you really what, uh, where your agenda should lie. You can only say it to yourself. And as a guidance, you shouldn't allow anybody to um, talk you out of it as the page of pentacles will try like i said they will try to touch on your emotions they will try to feel pity for them and so on and so forth so here it is kind of like perseverance perseverance through silence and uh, allowing your actions to speak for themselves rather than constantly trying to uh, explain yourself by words if you will so it's kind of like that per that inner strength you are to have to say no the inner strength you have to push forward the inner strength uh that you do have to believe in your own personal capabilities that you can do better without the page of pentacles you know and that you are open for everything new that it is coming because for the devil always presents you with something new for you to work with i mean the feed the, the the hunger of yourself it is a, a new thing into your arsenal for you to obtain so that being said aquarius this was your weekly tarot reading november um 18 to november 24 2019 hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other next time until then bye